Alright guys, I actually can't believe this, but I just saw an albino Roosevelt elk. I have no idea where it went, but I literally have to leave in like five minutes. I was like wrapping up what I was doing here. I was about to set up a ground blind down here because I was finding a fair amount of animals. I went to get one and I know that I saw an albino. I think it was traveling with these guys. So I'm just going to watch them and see if the albino comes out behind them. He wasn't very big, but he was a male for sure. I wonder where he went. I saw him trotting down here. And they were trotting as well. So I just got to figure out... Oh, there he is. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to take him with a 338. I just don't have time uh, to do otherwise. And actually, now that he's walking, it's probably a good time to do that. Looks like a drop shot. Yep, he's down. So our first male rare. Hopefully Zaggedy K is not too mad that we just found an albino and that is the type of rare that he's been looking for for a long time. But I really don't understand just the math of it because 73 hours without a rare and then in the preceding like probably 5 hours of gameplay after that, 3 rares. It's, it doesn't add up, but... I am not going to complain about an albino Roosevelt elk bull or the two piebald cows that we had. So I think the 73 hours without a rare made it worth these really cool three. Elk are definitely my favorite uh, rares. And this is actually an animal that I've wanted to get in classic for the longest time and never was able to. But yeah, I really wish I could have taken them with a bow, but I am absolutely pressing my limits right now. I got home from work a few hours ago and I have to leave quite soon as I said, but I decided not to go to bed and to just play for a while and I'm so glad that I made that decision. Taking as many screenshots as I can of this because this is, oops, this is a very probably rare find. All right, we'll pick him up here. Very beautiful coat, looking at that as I can, because obviously he's going to disappear. And why can I not pick him up now? Oh, it looks like I got that. This should fix it. And it will. So our albino Roosevelt Elk with a double lung liver shot from the 338, 128 score. Very cool, I'm going to screenshot this as well since it just says albino on there so yeah i don't understand how i can go that long without a rare and then that quickly get three i'm trying to understand the spawning um of the game and i certainly don't understand it right now uh but i'm wondering if every shot animal eventually spawns a new one and maybe that's why i'm finding more rares because i'm simply killing more animals and having a better chance of a rare spawning because I think, hello, I think the um, the spawn stays. I don't think it changes. I think everything stays, and when you shoot an animal, it'll spawn a new one. I'm trying to understand it. I've been trying to figure that out for a while now. I'm just uh, speculating here. Obviously, that is not um, any type of official statement. That's just my own guesswork from what I've seen. But anyway, our first bull or male rare of any kind, and our first albino, so really cool. I feel a little bit bad for Zaggedy K, because he spent so long looking for one, and then we just find one like that. We'll take that extra kill while we're here. So yeah. That was really cool and really surprising, and I actually, I'm talking too long already. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.